you're saying like it's about to arrive and all that spirit sees is an overabundance of everything you could ever possibly want being already present inside of your field of consciousness. And it is being drawn into your experience. In fact, it's being drawn into your experience ever so more quickly if you actually continue to assert the self that you wish to be by feeling how you want to feel in your future now. How would you like your future to turn up? If you want it to be really good, you've got to feel really good right now. Because the universe responds to how you feel, it does not respond to what is. There is no connection to what is and what will be, except from you regurgitating what is, so that you start to feel as if what is is what is, and then it becomes indicative of what will be. But what is structurally has no relationship to what will be. It takes its cue from you. The universe takes its cue from you. It's always reading your system. It's always reading your feeling state. It's always responding to your vibrational attitude. Does that make sense? Have you noticed this to be true in your life? Yes. Epic. So, continue to understand, and this is the most difficult thing, and if you drive this home to your own petty mind, then your petty mind will cease to exist or only arise every once in a while, and then it becomes fun to look at it instead of it being the ruling factor of your vibration, of your experiential life. If you get this one point right, if you get it straight, if you drive it home all the way into your heart, all the way into conviction, then you're set and you don't have to show up to these meetings anymore unless you just enjoy spending time with some like-minded people. Now, the thing is that you have to be more interested in attending to your vibrational state than you are interested in attending to your situational state. That's it. Sounds like it's easy peasy, but we all know that it's a little bit tricky when shit hits the fan. So when shit hits the fan, we immediately believe it's about the circumstance and we shoot in situational control mode where we should be in vibrational control mode. As soon as we give power to circumstance, we lose vibrational control. We give away our free will, we give away our power. Because we've been doing that for so long, we've built up what we call an unconscious mind. The unconscious mind would not be there, at least not in this particular way. It would simply and only and purely be the higher mind. It would purely be the higher self, unconscious to us, but we'd be in communication with it. But there would not be the self-created, segregated portion of our mind that we call the unconscious mind. It is only there because we have become lazy, vibrationally lazy, vibrationally inept, vibrationally inadequate to take care of ourselves. So we gave away our power to circumstance, to other people's opinions, to what we should be doing, to what we should be thinking, to what, how we should be responding. And so now we have this unconscious pattern, this momentum that's been built up that we call the unconscious mind. Some people call it the ego or the ego effect. That disappears when we start taking vibrational control and we become uninterested in situational control or circumstantial control, precisely because we know that what is has no relationship to what will be, except from us. We are the bridge, we are the key, we are the communicator of our future. We are calling into our presence the future. Now, if you feel bad about what is, you will continue to attract a future that seems to not go so well, to not be so flowy and spiritual and in alignment with what you desire. It seems to offer you all these opposites of what you want. It's because you believe that what is has any control over what will be when it has none, aside from how you respond to what is. That is what will create what will become. Does this make sense? If you know this, if you drive this home all the way into conviction, then it becomes so much easier to apply what I'm sharing. If you forget about this simple, 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 complicated fact that you are vibrationally controlling your reality, not situationally, then you'll have to keep reminding yourself until you get it, until you remember, until it is obvious. Does that make sense? Does that resonate? Does that feel true? Good.